Ukraine. And that warmth is still continuing at the moment across some parts of Europe. Let me just show you that uh, Sweden and in Poland yesterday, they broke national records for temperature in February. Astonishing for this stage in uh, February to see 22 there in Poland. And Germany has now had six days where someone has got above 20 degrees. That means all the snow and ice that we've seen has started to melt and it's had an impact here in Denmark. Let me just show you this. These uh, It's almost like an ice tsunami, an ice shove uh, from one of the fjords in West Denmark. The breeze has been pushing the broken ice up onto the shore. That has been mounting up to produce these spectacular scenes as well. That's how it's looking. Uh, I'll have more later. Back to you both. Matt. That is beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Fantastic. Have yeah. you ever seen that in real life, Matt? I haven't. Apparently sounds amazing as well. Yes. The uh, sort of broken ice just tinkling over each other. Wonderful. It'd be like, um, it would be an amazing sound. Have you ever been to Madel Padalewski, or where it's the hottest place in Poland? I haven't, no, but it's, it's one for the bucket list. Is it? Are you sure? <laughs> Are you sure? Listen, Definitely. Matt, I saw your little um, wind arrows as well. Can you tell me how choppy the seas are at the moment, please? Not very choppy at all away from the northwest of Scotland. Light winds, it's actually quite pleasant out there, like a mill pond for some this morning. Lovely. And you know what? You are an impressive man because <laughs> obviously you know everything. Apart from, apart from Maddo Padakowski. Um, which I'll soon learn about. <laughs> which you will soon learn about. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the